this is not a DIY episode because I'm not really good at doing what I'm going to show you how to do. But enjoy a professional and if you're a DIYer, this might be a very useful episode for you. Hello friends, welcome to the channel again. Today we're going to talk about something that I don't recommend you tackle yourself. We're going to window tin our BMW and I always recommend that you hire a professional for this for the best outcome. Here in Raleigh, we have express mobile window tint, the people we employ to do that. And we're going to show you a little bit of uh, pieces every now and then of uh, how the project goes. Ultimately, this can be a DIY project if you can tackle it yourself. It's out of my wheelhouse. So this is our before. No privacy, everyone can see in the car. We are done and the car looks absolutely great. You cannot tint, legally tint the front window, the windshield. Definitely not in the state of North Carolina and in most states that I'm aware of. And as you can see, they did an absolutely great job. I'm very pleased. Again, you cannot go much deeper in North Carolina than that in tinting. Uh, it is 35% the max and we did it at 30% but uh, we spent extra money rather than going to 35% to have a better quality tint that protects from UV and keeps the car cooler than otherwise. Overall, a great experience. So this is the owner of Express Mobile Window Tint, Tyler, and he's going to take care of us today, right, Tyler? Yes, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Tyler with Express Mobile Window Tint. Uh, we specialize in providing Raleigh, Cary, Durham, um, with mobile window tinting services. So our goal is to allow you to have your windows tinted right here at your home. That way you don't have to worry about dropping your vehicle off or waiting all day or even changing your schedule just to have your windows tinted. And unlike me here as a tip guys, leave, let them work. Once you hire the professional, get out of the way, right Tyler? <laughs> that is correct. All right, sir, we'll right, leave you alone. You. Tyler has been wonderful in explaining things to us and he has this amazing computer system that cuts the tinting film and I assume Tyler you can cut any film you choose on this right? Yes, that's correct. I can put in the year making model on the monitor there and it will cut it right out. And that gives him better control, a better fit versus cutting it with a razor blade on the car. Correct. Which is the only way a DIYer can do it, right? Just so try to make it as safe as possible that way I'm not putting any any blades or any razors on the, you know, the windows on the house. Right. And it's safer for you too, right? Yes. So this, this is amazing, thank you. And, and Tyler, he has given us all access, as you can see, we can look in his truck. And he's working hard and we need to let him go because it's hot out here. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. Thank you. And like everything else, prep is most of the work, right? And the outcome relates to how much prep time you, you spend. Absolutely, that is the most important part of window tents, prepping the tent and the window before you install. And here in North Carolina, the legal tint limit is 35%. We chose 30%, but we chose a film that provides uh, superior UV protection and superior heat protection, correct? Correct, that is correct. So like anything else, I always recommend, don't go with the cheapest option. I like to go mid-range, and I think that's what we did here. Mid-range is the best for me. You, you don't spend the most money possible, but, and at the same time, you do not buy the cheapest thing. Always cheapest is not the best. The next seven minutes or so of the video are letting him show you how he does the details. So it is not really me talking, but him and music on the background showing you how he does the tinting. However, if you want to pass that, you can move to point 1144, that is time mark 1144, and you will bypass this uh, detailed process on how he performs his window tinting. If you would like to learn for yourself, he is doing a very good job, and it is a great tutorial if you want to follow it.
and Tyler is uh, finished and again he's the owner of the Express Mobile Window team here in Raleigh, North Carolina. And it looks like it takes you a couple of three hours. Is that an average time? Yeah, so typically it takes about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, just depending on the car. Um, some cars can take a little bit longer than others. So it really just depends on the year, make and model of the And car. this had a few difficult spots, right? It did. So this one with the quarter windows, um, it did take a little bit longer with those because it is pretty tight. Um, and I am a perfectionist. I like to make sure my work looks good for my customers. So we took a little bit longer on and, those. And I have to give him credit. By the way, we just met today. We don't know each other prior to today, but I was very pleased with the pre-service communications we had. Thank you. And I decided to, to create a video about his services. But uh, <clears throat> he did not like the way this specific window looked. I was not even here. I came to, to see how he was doing and he was redoing it. So that shows pride in your work and, and I appreciate that. Absolutely, thank I you. I can tell you as a customer, he did an amazing job communicating with me, letting me know how things are going. And he arrived early because he had an opening in his schedule, which is also appreciated. So uh, I would definitely recommend him back, guys, if you're, if you're in this area, any recommendations? Do we need to do anything special to take care of this? Yeah, so a couple things. Um, typically on the edges and specifically on the back window, you will notice some haziness, maybe some small water bubbles. The reason that happens is I have to spray uh, soap and water to get the tent to slide into place, and I can only push so much of that out. So you will notice a little bit of that, um, but it should take about a week or so for it to fully cure. And then if for some reason, after about a week or so, you notice that's not going away, just let us know. We'll come right back and take care of that for you. All right, friends. Again, I, I recommend this uh, young man and his business. If you call him, tell him that Professor DIY sent you. So he will know. And uh, I want he have a little uh, QR code. So let me put it here so you guys can pause your screens and scan it with your phones if you want. His phone number is here and uh, from Professor DIY, let's do something together.